guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my summer must-haves video. I like to do these every season, fall must-haves, winter must-haves. So here we are, it is finally summer, and I wanted to share with you guys the things that I feel like are necessary for the summertime, things that you need. I mean, no one actually needs this stuff, but... If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so down below and also hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. So if you guys want to see my summer must-haves, then let's just jump right in. So I have makeup products here and then like some random products. I think what I'm going to do is start with like the random stuff. So I'm going to start off with this because I feel like this is like the number one must-have. I mean, everyone wants to look tan in the summer. So this is the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express bronzing mousse in dark. I do not have this on right now. This is actually like my real skin color. I have been laying out to try to get more of like a actual tan. Or this is good for if you don't have a tan and you have to go to a wedding or so, some event where a lot of your skin is going to be showing. This is great. So it's two hour express so you apply this all over your skin with a mitt and you leave it on for two hours and then you're good to go. You can rinse it off after and you have a gorgeous tan. This is my all time favorite tan. I don't think there's any tan on the market that is better than this to be honest. I think this is just the best one. It doesn't get streaky. It doesn't fade weirdly. I highly recommend this. I will have everything linked down below. So that is that. And also they have a bronze shimmer cream, which is just instant color. It doesn't stain your skin or anything. This is just like a one day thing, which I love. So this is great for if you're just like throwing on shorts or a dress and you want your legs to look like nice and glowy or you want your arms to look glowy, this is so good. It's also water resistant, which is true because I actually wore this the other day and I spilt water on my legs and it didn't come off. So that was good. And this is, is an ultra dark. So let me just show you guys when you put it on your hand what it looks like. I just want to do a little bit. It looks super dark because it is ultra dark. But when you blend it out, you are left with like a really pretty healthy glow. It looks gorgeous. It has a little bit of shimmer in it so it makes your skin look really glowy and nice. So Loving Tan is my favorite. I highly recommend these products. They're amazing. I do have a self tanning routine showing how I apply that. I did it kind of like a while ago. I think it was a year ago. I will leave it linked up here if you guys are curious to see. All right, next up is this. I think it is important to protect your hair in the sun, especially if you get it colored like me. If you have bleached hair, the sun can really make it feel super dry and it can also discolor your hair a little bit. So I think that this is a great product to have with you in the summer. The Orlando Pitta Play um, hair protectant spray. I actually got this in my FabFitFun summer box and I've been loving this. You can spray this in your hair wet or dry, which is awesome. So you can throw this in your beach bag, bring it to the beach, spray it in your hair. Um, it's not going to give you any like greasy texture or anything and it has an amazing smell to it. So who doesn't want to smell good? Um, but it is supposed to protect your hair against the sun and also this is a heat protectant so if you want to curl your hair or do like beachy waves or something this is great to spray in your hair while it's wet to really protect it from the heat. This is supposed to protect your hair up to 450 degrees which is amazing. It also provides humidity control so it's great for the summer as well. It gets really super humid, preserves shine, smooths hair cuticle, promotes softness. It does a bunch of good things so I will have it linked down below for you guys. I think it's important to protect your hair in the sun. It can really really dry your hair out so really good to have with you in the summer. Next up, obviously in the summertime our skin gets super dry. I think it's a must have to have some kind of moisturizer. I like to apply this every time I get out of the shower and also I like to apply this when I get out of the sun. This is the Soap and Glory Deep Moisture Body Milk. This smells amazing. It smells like cookies and cream. Oh my god, it smells so good. So I've used quite a bit. I have like this much left. This makes your skin so moisturized. It, this stuff will give me like a really, really intense shine, especially on my legs. I notice whenever I put this on my legs, my legs look super shiny and glowy, but they do have like a little tiny bit of like a greasy feel, but it's not like a bad greasy. Obviously, I've used it so much, so I don't, it doesn't bother me, but it is so moisturizing. I this at Ulta, and I think Target actually might sell Soap and Glory as well. So I think having a body moisturizer is definitely 
definitely key in the summertime. Next up, you obviously want to have some sunscreen. This is by the brand Kula, and this is their white tea moisturizing SPF 50, um, and it smells really, really good. It definitely does, I can smell the white tea in it for sure. Um, the packaging is super cute. This is so easy to just throw in your purse, throw in your beach bag, whatever. SPF 50, so you can put this on your body, your face. It says apply 15 minutes before sun and reapply after 80 minutes of swimming or sweating. And um, yeah, so this is just obviously a key to have in the summertime. Even though we all want a nice golden tan, it's really important to protect your skin while doing so. And you can definitely still get a tan with SPF. I used to think that wasn't a thing, but you definitely can. It's really important to have, and I think the packaging is just super cute. I love it. Definitely want to have some sunscreen with you. Next up is dry shampoo. I feel like this is definitely an all year long type of thing, but I feel like in the summertime, it's key because you sweat a lot it's really humid out so I definitely love having my dry shampoo with me because when I'm sweating or after the gym or anything like that I like to spray this in my hair and soak up all of the natural oils also I wash my hair less in the summertime because it is more dry because of the Sun so having dry shampoo is definitely key this one is the Dove refresh and care volume and fullness so I just really like the smell of this I think it gives me really good volume I have it in my hair right now um, my hair is about day day three day two and it's just a great dry shampoo it smells good it's affordable you're welcome. Next up are obviously sunglasses. Um, you want to protect your eyes, but you also want to be looking cute, you know? These ones are actually from Target, and they kind of look like Ray-Bans. Um, that's why I got them. I just think they're really, really cute. So obviously sunglasses is a must-have. I wanted to show my key sunglasses, um, but I couldn't find them, which is really upsetting because those sunglasses are not cheap. Next up is a face moisturizer. My face gets super dry as well, so this is a really good moisturizer. This is by Drunk Elephant, so it is not cheap, but it is so moisturizing on my skin. This is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. I've actually had this for a couple months now, and I really, really like it. The packaging is genius. Um, you press down and the cream comes out of the top so you can control how much you're using You only need a pea size amount because this is so so moisturizing it gives my skin like a drink of water And I love it. It is very pricey, so you don't need this one obviously But having a good face moisturizer is very key in the summer I want to mention a pair of shoes that I think are a summer staple because I just think you can't go wrong with something like these a pair of vans and they are just a really nice white they have gold detailing on them I really think every girl needs a pair of white sneakers whether it be Converse whether it be whatever I just think that you can pair so many outfits with a pair of white tennis shoes you could wear a dress with these you could wear shorts with these pretty much anything leggings look cute with these and they just really bring your outfit together so I think a white pair of sneakers is definitely a summer must-have I mean obviously I wear sandals a lot in the summer I'm trying to spice up an outfit I think white shoes are just classic and you need them all right the next thing is pretty obvious I think everybody needs a cute bathing suit for the summertime this one is probably my all-time favorite bikini I own this is from the brand hot Miami styles this is what it looks like. I actually just did a try on haul with them that I will li leave linked up here for you guys if you want to see. These bathing suits have the best quality that I've tried in a long time. They are a little bit more pricey, but I personally think it's worth the money. This is just such high quality. It's not going to rip or be see-through or anything weird. It's such a good bikini and so, so cute. So... I actually just posted this on my Instagram as well. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, please be sure to do so. I post a lot of outfit pictures and stuff. I will leave my Instagram up here. I just think having a cute bathing suit is obviously staple. I mean, that's a given. Zaffo also has really cute bikinis as well. I've done several hauls with them. I will leave linked up here for you as well. If you were looking for cute bathing suits, my favorite websites are now Hot Miami Styles and Zaffle for finding really cute bikinis so definitely check those out all right next up this is the last item until we get into makeup and this is a perfume this is I've actually talked about this in one of my recent TJ Maxx hauls this is the coconut lavender um, perfume by Illum I will um, try to find it and link it down below for you guys you guys this is like the all-time perfect summer scent it smells like 
coconut lavender mixed together. It smells like you're on a beach. It smells like suntan lotion, but in a good way. It is amazing. So I feel like having like a really summery perfume in the summer is just, it's just great. Especially this one because it literally smells like you're on a beach. All right, now let's move in to makeup. I want to start off with this. So this is not foundation or anything. It's more of like a C, it's a CC serum. So this is the By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum, and this is in the color um, Sunny Flash. So this looks like this. I actually had this on my skin before I applied my other CC cream. So this does work for giving your skin like a really pretty glow, but it's not going to cover up too much. Like it does even out your skin tone just a tiny bit, but it's more for giving you like a really healthy glow. It gives you a little bit of color and it, it's really good for your skin. So highly recommend something like this if you are someone that doesn't like to wear foundation in the summer. This is great because it gives you a bit of a tan. So I highly recommend this. I've been using this a lot and it's so good. I love it. I don't really have a foundation to talk about, but this I definitely think is a summer must have. This is what is on my skin right now as my foundation. It's the Your Skin But Better CC Cream by It Cosmetics. This one is in the color light. The one that's on my skin is actually in medium. It's in my uh, beauty room. This has SPF of 50 and it's giving you coverage. So this is like a two-in-one. It is amazing. It has really good coverage. Um, I don't have too much acne or anything to cover up, but as you can see, it does even out my skin tone, and it just gives you like a really pretty nice finish. So I highly recommend this. This is like a really great product to have if you are on the go, if you're laying by the pool and you want SPF, but you want a little bit of coverage as well. This is my go-to summer product for sure. I've been using this for over a year now. It's anti-aging, it's a hydrating serum, so you're literally getting everything in this. If you guys have not tried this, I highly, highly recommend this. It is amazing. All right, next up I wanted to talk about a cream highlighter. I feel like this is a staple in the summer to just give you that really pretty healthy glow. I have this on my face underneath another powder highlight that I'm going to talk about in a second, but this is the Laura Geller Dew Dreamer Illuminating Drops. Now, you can find stuff like this everywhere now on the market. Um, I found this at Ulta. This is in the color Gilded Honey. It is just a really gorgeous, gorgeous cream highlight, but what I like about it is it's more of like an oil base, so this is good to mix with foundation. So, this is what it looks like, but it blends out really really nicely as you can see it gives you such a gorgeous glow if you guys have not tried these I highly recommend them I feel like no one really talks about these and I don't know why because I think they're so nice they mix really well with foundation they don't look overly sparkly or glittery or anything they give you a really pretty glow and these are really great to apply on your body as well on like the top of your shoulders so you need a cream highlight in the summer I think it is a definite staple and then the powder highlight that I have been loving, I've been loving two of these for this summer. This is the Anastasia and Am Reezy Highlighter. This is the more, most gorgeous golden glow ever. It is like the perfect, perfect, perfect summer highlight. I have this as my highlight today over the other cream highlight drops. And it's just such a pretty highlight. Like, look how gorgeous that is. So if you guys have not tried this highlight and you are a highlight fanatic, you need to try it. It is gorgeous. And then the other powder highlight that I love using as well is the Becca um, Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. I love all of her highlights. They're beautiful. But this one, something about it is just a gorgeous, like, taupe highlight for the summer. Especially if you have, like, a little bit of a deeper skin tone. This looks gorgeous. If I'm, like, too fair, it just looks a little too dark. But when I have a tan, it looks gorgeous. So I think um, highlights and bronzers are like definitely the staple pieces when it comes to makeup for the summer because that is like what you want to look like. You want to look bronzed and glowy and just beautiful. So those are the highlights that I prefer in the summer. And then next up, I want to talk about two bronzers. The first one is this one, and this one's actually pretty new to me. This is the Marc Jacobs Bronzer in Tantric. It is a huge, huge bronzer. It's the size of my face. This is definitely pricey, but it is such a nice bronzer. It doesn't have shimmer to it, so it's definitely a matte bronzer. This is what I have on my skin today. 
that is it right there. It's like the perfect in between. Not too warm, it's not too ashy. It's just like the perfect in between to warm up your skin and give you like a really pretty glow. I like it because even though it's matte, it doesn't look super drying or anything. So I really like this one. And then, and this other one I wanna talk about is kind of like, I don't wanna say a dupe because I don't think the colors are close. But I enjoy this bronzer just as much and I've talked about this several, several times at my channel and it smells like summer. So this is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It feels like butter when you swatch this. When you put your finger in here, it literally is silky as can be and it's such a gorgeous color. That is it right there. So I would definitely save your money and get this one because it works just as good as this one. But I still wanted to mention this one because I love it and I used it on my skin today. This is like my number one bronzer because it smells like you're at a beach and it applies like butter. It looks so good. It warms up your skin without being too much. It's just gorgeous. All right, next up, I obviously had to talk about this. This is the Smashbox So Chill Coconut Water Primer Water. I love their primer water and this one is just perfect because it smells like coconut and it's the perfect summer spray. This you can put in the refrigerator and let it cool so that when you get hot or anything you can spritz yourself with it and it really gives you like a nice refreshing feel. This is just amazing. It primes my skin for foundation. It also feels great to kind of spray my face afterwards to kind of melt all the products together and the scent of it just goes well with summer so definitely a must-have for me then we just have two lip products that I want to talk about the first one is a chapstick this is by Sunbum and this is the SPF 30 I think it is so important to have a a chapstick that has SPF in it I've been an idiot for the past couple years and I've been laying out in the Sun with no protection on my lips and it's just not good to do that because your lips are just as sensitive, if not more sensitive than your actual skin. So I think having a chapstick with SPF is just key and this is just easy to throw in your purse. This is by Sunbum, like I said, and it's in the coconut scent. So the last product that I wanna talk about is a lip gloss. This is by Fenty Beauty and this is her Gloss Bum in Fenty Glow. I have this on my lips today. You guys, this is the most creamy, lip gloss formula ever. It is so buttery smooth when you put this on your lips and this lip color will literally suit anybody. It is the perfect color. It's your lips but better. It's like that really pretty kind of like rosy tone lip gloss and it feels so good on your lips. It's not sticky. It's so creamy. I mean, obviously, if, the hair, if my hair blows in this, it's going to stick in it. That's just lip gloss for you. But I feel like lip gloss is such a staple. It makes you look so dewy and glowy. I don't know. I just love it. So I think lip gloss is definitely a staple. It doesn't have to be this one. I have so many lip glosses that I love and that I have in my purse right now that I kind of switch between. But this one, I think, is the staple because it would suit so many different skin tones. If you guys have yet to try the Fenty lip gloss, please go try it. If you love lip gloss, you will love this. So that was everything for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm sure I forgot a bunch of things that I could have probably talked about because I feel like there are so many staple pieces. But these are like my go-to summer essentials. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!